It's only like 11 something a.m. Um, decided to leave my house a little earlier today, you know, like I mentioned, um, inside here in the morning is not the best. Um, not as bad as they used to be, but um, a lot better because I used to wake up with my mind just overthinking, feeling sick. Um, just, you know, depressing everything, um, just waiting for my, just waiting for the panic to hit and stuff like that. That's how bad it was for me in the morning where I, where I would just wake up, hurry up, use the bathroom, um, shower if I had, if I needed, and eat and quickly go back to sleep. You know, it's like, it's like I try to do things as soon as possible to, just so I can sleep. And when I sleep, I don't feel the, um, panic. But um, I want to talk about dreams. Um, how like dreams nightmare um affect me personally. Um, what's crazy about um my panic attacks? Um, losing my job and things like that. Um. I actually, dream that I lost my job. Um. But I wasn't too sure why, you know, I dreamed about losing my job a um, couple of months before I actually started having a panic disorder. Um, so I guess in a way my dreams were like telling me something um, that, you know, when, when you dream about something, um, you know, good or bad, you know, a lot of people dream about winning money um, and then you wake up and then you're like, yeah, I knew it was just a dream, things like that. Um, you don't really think about those dreams, you know, but when you dream about losing your job um, for whatever reason, losing your house, losing whatever it is. Um, have I ever dreamed about losing my family because of this disorder? Um, I'm not going to lie, yes, I have. I dreamed about it um, a couple of times, you know, um, and it sucks because it feels so real that you feel like you lose your family and you know i talked to some of you guys that you lost your family your husband your wife um, and then your kids you know things like that your, your own parents your siblings you know they ask you to move out whatever it is um you know and it sucks um don't get me wrong <sighs> And I've been, I had a couple of those dreams. I wouldn't really call them dreams. They're more like nightmares. Um, you know, and um, it does affect me, to be honest. And it, and it makes me think. I'm like, okay, if I dream about losing my job, which I had, um, am I going to, am I going to lose my family next? Is that dream going to come true next, you know? Um, and sometimes I think it might, I might not, you know, like I said, if some dreams come true, some doesn't, you know, you never know what, what's going to happen. You just have to live in the moment. But, um, 
it does affect me. It makes me sometimes it does give me a little depression. It makes me start questioning. Um, okay, I need to change. I need to work on getting better before I start losing people. Um, I still talk to my friends from work. Um, they ask me how I'm doing. Say I'm getting better and stuff like that. But I don't want them uh, to think that I need to depend on anyone. Um, I mean, you know, even though I do need, like when I start having panic disorder, I needed to depend on my family more than I ever had. You know, um, I needed people like, oh, can you get me, you know, like a cup of water? Because I was so afraid to go to the kitchen because I had a panic attack in the, in the kitchen. I was so afraid to be at home alone, you know, things like that. Then that's when you start, that's when your family wants to question why is it so hard for you to get off your bed just to go get a cup of water or to go to the bathroom. Uh, how come you need someone to be home with you, you know, things like that. Um, so uh, I dream about losing my family a couple of times, um, especially um, one size, especially last year, um, not so much this year. Last year, I won this time, and even before this time, I did. Um, that's the main reason, that's the one of the main reasons why I decided to, I need to leave my house. You know, I need, they need to see that I can, that I'm trying to get better, you know. They have to see that I'm not lazy, I'm depressed. Our voice depressed, you know, depression is not the same as being lazy, you know. When, you la when you're lazy, is you choose to be lazy. You don't choose to have depression. You don't choose to be having panic attacks. You don't choose to be depressed, you know. And when you're lazy, it's because you're just lazy. Um, you know, depression and laziness is different. You know, people that doesn't have depression, they don't understand. You're not, you're not lazy, you just depressed you don't feel like you can do anything you don't feel like whatever you do makes you happy you don't feel like whatever you do makes anyone else happy so you don't want to do it or you can't do it you don't feel um, like you, you just don't feel happy whatever you do you don't feel happy with whatever you do because um, you want to be perfect at everything you do um, you know because you don't want you don't want to, anything to go wrong when you do anything um, that's like myself, when I do things and I make a mistake, I, it upsets me. But yeah, um, you know, I mentioned this a couple of times, I lost my brother when he had, back in early 2015. Um, I think he passed away before Valentine's Day. Um, around Valentine's Day maybe, I don't remember her day before. Um, Due to a stroke, um, you know, and that's why I picked up the phobia of um, going to the hospitals. Cause when he was in the hospital, um, you know, I cost. He's not the first person I lost. I lost my grandfather when I was young, and then my grandmother when I was, um, when I were I think back in. 2007, 8, maybe something like that. I don't remember. And or maybe even before that. Um, then, then my girlfriend lost her dad 2011, 2012. Then I lost my brother in 2015. So each time those days that I go to the hospital and see, you know, a family, a friend or whatever, losing a life. Uh, even like, you know, if if seeing someone uh, even like having a friend that asked me to go see like you know uh, someone they know that's passed away um i slowly pick up the fear of dying i slowly pick up the fear of going to the hospital um you know when you go to the hospital either you're going to see someone that's sick someone that is dying or you see like a new life being born you know um it's like one life taken away another one is born um you know, that's how life is, I guess, but... But when you start dreaming about, you know, people, about um, losing your family, dying, uh, like my parents are getting old and, you know, it's... When I see them having to take care of me now, like when I was a baby, it kind of... 
He kind of upsets me, to be honest. Um, because I feel like I can't, even though I'm doing a lot better, I feel like I can't really help them out, you know, with, with other things. Sure, I can help my mom when she needs to go for a, go to the store and drive somewhere. My dad's busy because my mom doesn't drive, and I don't want my mom to walk, even though she's not walking. Even though she's not walking anywhere too far or anything like that, um, you know. And then sometimes I still dream about my brother, um, that he's still alive. And then I wake up, and then I knew it's just a dream, you know, things like that. And anytime I get like um, a symptom, like a stroke-like symptom, and it makes me think about my brother, um, you know, things like that. Um, I just can't really, oh no, I can't think today, I guess, um, these dreams just get to me, like I say, um, you can tell, like, in my voice, it's like cracking, and <clears throat> it's just, I don't know. And I'm just like, <clears throat> I'm just walking around my local elementary school where my daughter used to go to. Um, she's in high school now. She only has two more years. Um, well, she's going to the 11th grade when she goes back to school. And so when she goes back to school, she only has one more year and then she's going to go out to college. So, you know, just me coming to her, um, local, to her elementary school, um, you know, it reminds me, um, uh, that time goes by so fast, you know, to be sad about things. Um, at the same time, it makes me, it, it kind of makes me think back, like, you know, when she was small and she needed to depend on, you know, her parents, my her mom, my girlfriend and I, um, not as much as she used to. You know, she's cooking when this, when she, hey, have nothing to eat, um, she'll just cook whatever she can, you know, I can't cook, um, so sometimes she cooks for me, um, which I feel bad because it's like I had to depend on other people that used to depend on me, you know, it's like, like I said, like, I want to take care of my parents, that's why I still live with my parents, you know, um, I know people are like, oh, you're 38 years old, why don't you move out when you had a good paying job when, and stuff like that. I say, you know, my I'm more worried about my parents than anything else. Um, you know, if something happens to my parents because of me, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be, um, I'll be really upset with myself and it might give me more anxiety, it might cause me my depression to come back and stuff like that. Um, you know, that's why I, and that's why I used to work at night, calm. You know, when I used to work at night, my parents were like, oh, you're going to be tired and stuff like that. So well, I can sleep during the day. You know, I can go pick up my daughter from school. Um, 
if a mom, if my girlfriend, her, my, her, which is her mom, um, is busy, or she has to, she's doing something else, and you know, and if my dad's not home and my mom needs to go to the store real quick, so my dad has to go to a doctor appointment, and my mom wants to go to the store. Uh, my dad is sick and my mom wants to go to the store. Uh, my my mom is sick and my dad wants me to do something, help him out, whatever. That's the main reason why I choose to stay with my um, parents. You know, um, so for me to dream about all these things, um, you know, dream about money, uh, I don't really care about. Um, because a lot of us dream about random stuff, you know. Um, but this time dreams about losing the family, losing the job, which I have, I, I already had. Um, you know, I even think that I dream about having a panic attack before I even had to start having this disorder. It's like something is telling me that um, you know something is going to happen, and I need to be, I need to. Um, be careful, I need to take care of myself, you know, I need to do this, I need to do that, um, you know. And some people say maybe it's your brother trying to tell you in a dream that that he's watching you, but he wants you to, to do something about it, you know. Um, I had dream about my brother a couple of times, um, like I mentioned, like he, he passed away, uh, I dream about him telling me to stop worrying about him, stop worrying about the family and worry about myself because I can't worry about the family if I'm not taking care of myself, you know, things like that. Um, so I worry about other people more than I worry about myself and I think that's my problem. Um, sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I don't even show it, you know, and I see someone else having a bad day and then I get more worried about that than I'm worried about my own myself, which is I know it's, it it might it's not clear that how am I going to help someone if I can't if I can't help myself uh, if I don't allow other people to help me, you know. But as far as a dream about losing my family, you know, like a nightmare or whatever. Um, it's just a nightmare. It's just a dream. If if it happens, you know, things happen for a reason. Um, you know, that's why I want them to see that I'm not lazy. Um, I just have to panic, panic at that, you know. It's, it's like I'm not the same person I was, but I'm trying to get back to the person I was. Like, you know, going out, going to work, you know, just living my life without thinking about dying. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not thinking all oh, this, this little rash on my arm is gonna kill me. I'm not gonna think this little headache is gonna kill me. This, you know, this um, this this cough is not gonna kill me. You know, this <clears throat> this yawning, this burping is not gonna kill me. You know, every little thing we we get, um, especially with panic disorder, we think we're gonna die. But for whatever reason, man. You know, your family doesn't understand um, because they don't go through it, you know. Um, sometimes family don't understand because they see you used to be outgoing, you used to do this, you used to do that, so they don't understand, well, how can something like this change you? You know, sometimes they have to be told by someone else, like a doctor, um, because they don't really understand. You know, my family kind of understand now because they talk to someone to help them understand, you know. Um, so if you have family that doesn't understand, they call you lazy, you might want to have a sit down, sit down with them, have like, you know, you can find a counselor that's willing to go talk to your family, you know. Uh, if you're a teenager, have, have an adult talk to them, you know, sometimes the fa like your parents might understand better how they might believe you better when an adult someone that the same age maybe a little bit younger or older than them um talk to them about the about the panic disorder you know i mean i talked to some of you that are 
older than I am, but you still say your family, your parents don't understand, you know, how some of you, I talked to a couple of you that are my age or even younger, that, you know, your family doesn't understand things like that. Um, you know, and it sucks. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, sometimes, you know, and then, and they don't understand one day something happens, like, you know, they have a panic attack, then you, you know, um, then they will understand, but you don't, at the same time, you don't want them to have a panic attack just to help them to understand, you know. You want them to understand how you feel just by seeing the way you look, by the way you act, you're act, reacting towards any little fear, any little symptom, sensation. You want them to understand how it, how it feels without them knowing, without them feeling it, you know. It's like someone asked me, um, everyone was, What's so scary about being dizzy? Well, one thing is if you're dizzy, you know, getting off like a roller coaster, that's normal because you're, you're on the ride, you know. Why would you get dizzy for no reason, you know, things like that. Um, it's like sitting still, doing nothing, you know. You're on the computer, you get dizzy. You're sitting down, watching TV, you, TV, you get dizzy, you know, things like that. It doesn't make sense. All right, so I was like, you get, you can be having a good time, bam, and then out of nowhere, you know, you start thinking you're dying, you know. So it's not. That's what um I told my family, and then they didn't understand. But after a while, after I talked to them about it, you know, I I even t I even said things like, you know, you see me going, you see me going to work, coming home, and then wanting to go places. You see me not wanting to sleep because I, I'm always wanting to. I always had to keep my hands busy with doing something, you know, if it's cleaning my car, it's cleaning my car, if it's doing one thing, it's doing that then, you know, um, so I try to keep myself busy and then once I started having panic disorder, I couldn't even clean my room, I couldn't, my OCD wasn't messing with me as much because, you know, my OCD when it comes to keeping my hands clean, when I, I feel so faint going to the bathroom, so when I wash my hands, I would quickly wash my hands with soap and leave, because usually when I wash my hands, with my OCD, I scrub my hands really. If I see a little, if I feel like my hands not clean, I go rewash my hands. When when I start having a really bad panic disorder, with a faint dizzy spell, I didn't really wash my hands as good as I used to. You know, so. But yeah, um, that's pretty much with my dreams. And you know, like I say, I'm here at my local elementary school. My I still have two niece that goes here. Um, my oldest nephew is in high school with my daughter. He's just a couple of months older than my daughter. Um, and my my two niece still goes here, and my my other nephew is in middle school. So you know, it brings me back a lot of memory just coming here. The school is just around the block. Um, you know, I can sit here and just like picture them like you know when i used when we used to come here they're playing on the playground or playing basketball you know riding the scooters things like that um so it makes me think like you know time goes by so fast you know one minute if you have kids they're like they depend on you to change their diaper feed them next minute they're like going to preschool or walking Next, and then you know they go to middle school. They they have friends. And they they get older. They have friends, and then they start having boyfriends or girlfriends. So you know, and then they go to high school, and then they then they start you know hanging around with their friends more than their own family. You know, um, you know, depending on the kids, and then they go to college, and you know they get married, have their own kids, stuff like that. You know. Um, uh, like today is just me thinking, not not thinking like anything bad, really. Just you know, just just thinking how much time flies. You know, time goes by so fast that you know, you just live in the moment. You know, whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, we don't really know what oh, we don't know what the future holds for us, but we know the past is the past. Um, you know, whatever you learn from your mistake, you learn from your mistake. You know, um, but, you know, sometimes I just like coming here, especially when I started having my panic disorder. 
Here I go to the park. The park is about three blocks away. Um, you know, another place they used to go to. You know, um, you know sometimes I want to um, visit my old elementary school, my old middle school, my old high school. You know, I'm a high school dropout. Uh, my old, I, I used to go to school in San Francisco. I don't live in San Francisco. Um, I live about 45 minutes to an hour away, depending on which part. But, you know, I sometimes I even dream about, you know, like where I used to work, uh, my first job, you know, my old, my old middle school, high school friends, stuff like that, um, you know. I dream about those and, you know, I start thinking like, man, I wish there was a time machine where we can go back in the, back in our past and like, you know, fix what we did wrong. Find out the day where we have the panic, the panic attack and, you know, delete that day, you know, things like that, but just, that's just wishful thinking, and anyways, I'm gonna head back home now, I've been, been here for uh, almost half an hour, and I need to go back home and eat, and eat my lunch, um, I'll probably go for another walk later on today, but, you know, um, I just needed to come out and clear my mind, um, you know, and know that I'm okay and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I'm going ahead. I'm going to just end the video here and head back home.